This morning we're working a pure species, Protomelus tinealatus, but it is a, a selection we call Sunset. The species is normally called Red Empress, and what we noticed a few generations back was some of the males had a lot of yellowish orange on them. We segregated those out. They breed fairly true at this point. I processed over a hundred adult males and about 60% of those were sunsets. The others were good red empress males. Let's take a look at the three breeder males I picked. Two of them were existing breeders and one's a young breeder. I've already put up the females. We'll talk about females in a minute. Okay, settle down guys, settle down. These two bigger ones are the males that were already in the breeding colony. We had others I've heard. This is a young male that I like. He's got good coverage. I'm looking for is a nice yellow-orange fish with a blue face. Okay, now I'm going to show you the males. Well, I'm going to put these three guys in the breeding colony with the females I've already. Let's see, we have 44 females, four young females I'm adding, and... 40 I'm keeping and then I'm purging a few. So these guys go right over here. And most of the females are already in there. Let's take a look at the males that were in the beauty contest that I didn't select. We'll talk about them. These, ma these males will all go into our sale that someday I may start auctioning off some of this fish that almost made the breeding colony. See these are all nice fish just not quite as nice as the he's pretty good. I don't know I like him. I like him but see he's got a little bit too much glue on him. Okay so these guys are going to go in the sale vat. Let me count them because I have not counted them yet. You notice that I'm using my hands to get them instead of nets. Hands are a lot gentler on the fish, assuming you don't drop them. Uh, nets tend to be abrasive. Let's see, I lost count while I was talking. So 10 more males to sell. Since that's on the other side of the greenhouse, I'll put them up later. Okay, now let's take a look at females. And we'll discuss what I select for in this strain. Okay, first of all, let's look at this one. I'm keeping her, not because she's a good breeder for this strain, simply because she's lived long enough to get that big, or she just has genes for size. I don't know which, but I, I'm going to keep her. She's got a little bit of gold on her side. Put her in there. This is a good female for this strain. See a lighter body and a lot of gold. That one's not bad, but not that great. And these three, I'm purging. They, let's see, I need to find a place to keep them. I'm done with the aquarium, so I'll just pour them out. They're good red empress females, but they're not that good for the sunset strain. Let's talk about well, pouring these fish out. What a species is. A lot of misconceptions about the biological term species. How to explain this? <laughs> a species biologically is a, a group of individuals that are able to reproduce together, mate together, reproduce. But it's a slippery concept when you come down to applying it. For example, my favorite professor at University of Texas was Eric Pianca, Dr. Pianca. Now, he was an evolutionary biologist. He talked about ring species. And the biggest example of ring species is the seabird around the Arctic Circle. If you go to northern Greenland, you find two birds that look a lot alike, but they're very different in size. One of them's small, one of them's big. They mate in the same areas, but the big ones don't mate with the small ones. But if you go west around the 
the Arctic Circle, the big bird disappears. It's only the little bird, but as you go west, 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 around the Arctic Circle, that little bird gets bigger, bigger, and bigger until it gets around to Greenland, and it is the big bird. And th this happens around Mount Kilimanjaro with some, uh, some species. And what happens is there's selection pressure in case of this bird for, for size as you go around west and it gets to the point where it can't mate with the smaller ones. So if you had only the Greenland birds, you would have two species, but because it's a continuum, you have, you have only a single species. You could say the same thing with dogs. If you look at, if we wiped out all the dogs except for Chihuahuas and Great Danes, clearly we would have two species because they're not going to be able to mate. So they're is reproductively isolated. But species is a slippery concept. It gets even worse when you get into like, there's a live bear from the Central Plateau of Mexico and the genus Xenotaka. There used to be one species, Isony, but recently authorities have split it into four species, each of which live in a different river drainage. So you could argue while they look very much alike and they mate easily if you mix them up, they are reproductively isolated in each one of those rivers. But you have authorities, we use the uh, Integrated Taxonomic Information System, ITIS.gov, for identifying our fish, for applying scientific names to the fish, because that's what the Lacey Act and Endangered Species Act refers to. They still haven't recognized the splitting Xenotaka Isony into four species. They still consider them all just geographic variants. So it's a lot of times what a species is, is a matter of opinion. Okay, this fish, Sunset, is a pure Protomelus tinealatus. All of its ancestors are Protomelus tinealatus. We've simply selected for uh, a color variant within that species. So it still gets the name Protomelus tinealatus. We just tag a a color name, sunset, to it. Now, if you look at the OB peacocks, those are all hybrids. You never assign a scientific name to them. They're hybrids of one or more species within the genus Alonicara, but even outside. The gene, the OB gene, the spotting gene, came from an Ambuna, a, a Pseudotrophius, entirely different genus even. But they hybridized and, and people did that to, to get the various OB strains. Okay, well, let's see, was there anything else I was going to talk about? I think not, so good fish keeping.